Boeing Starliner is getting ready to head back to Earth, but without its crew. NASA astronauts Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore went to the International Space Station on the Starliner, but some technical issues make it unsafe for them to ride in the capsule. SpaceX will bring them home come February. At least our fingers are crossed for that for February. News Nation's Xavier Walton is live at Cape Canaveral in Florida. Xavier, Boeing and NASA are confident that the spacecraft won't encounter any issues making this landing, but not confident enough to put those two astronauts on board along with it. That's exactly right. And ultimately, NASA said, hey, it is just not worth the risk. And we're going to find out tonight if that decision was the right one to make. Hey, it's crazy to think almost exactly to the day, three months ago, we were watching over here, uh, the VABs off of the distance, and then you got the launch pad. But you see it here. That's video of Boeing's um, Starliner. You see it. It's right at the top going up with Sonny and Butch on top of it. Um, there was so much excitement even, even after years of delays, but the problems really started piling up once the, the Boeing Starliner um, was docking at the International Space Station with those two astronauts. Those problems, as you see, you know, the Starliner there um, only continued to mount from then on. Eight days for Sonny Williams and Butch Wil Wilmore quickly turned into eight weeks. Then for months, months, engineers tried fixing the thruster issues and helium leaks on Starliner. Eventually, NASA making that difficult decision Bring back Boeing Starliner without the astronauts. And today, we're going to find out tonight, um, but Starliner is going to come back to Earth. Really, the thrusters on the service module, uh, the next big job they have is to hold the attitude uh, while the, the big OMAX fires. Anthony said it's about a 60-second deorbit burn, and that's the critical thing to, that needs to happen to get the, the crew module on a safe trajectory uh, to enter into the atmosphere and then land at White Sands. All eyes there, right? White Sands, New Mexico. Here's a map of where it is, where Starliner is heading. It's supposed to undock around 6 p.m. The capsule will land at Space Harbor just after midnight. So that's roughly a six-hour journey, assuming, Marky, everything goes white, right. But we're going to be watching with uh, bated breath as uh, Starliner comes back to Earth. Xavier, I just feel for that. I don't even like getting delayed at the airport, let alone stuck up in space, you know, for, for months at a time. So we are holding our breath right along with them. Xavier, thanks so much. We'll be watching closely. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.